Hi everybody, I'm back. So today's video is about products that I am not going to purchase, that I am not going to buy for certain reasons, but and I am going to go into it. So it's an unhaul video. I saw somebody do this and I thought it was so cool because everybody's like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm hauling and here and this is what I bought and, and those videos are great. I, I love making those videos. I love watching those videos, but let's be honest. There is a lot of products out there right now, mostly with the holiday collection. Everybody has a holiday collection. Everybody has little these holiday packages. And, and I think that some of the smaller packages are great because they're good gifts for the makeup lover. I mean, all women love makeup, even if it's even if they wear a little bit of makeup, but they have, they have a lipstick, they have mascara. They, you know, these are things that all women tend to have. So I think those smaller gifts, the ones that come in little bags, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think those are good. I think that I, I would buy them if I'm going to give them to someone, but to buy them for myself, no, I'd rather just buy myself the actual lipstick that, you know, or the actual mascara. I don't want to buy a little gift set. It, I, I think that for personal purchase, I don't think that they're worth it. But as a gift, I think that they're cute little gifts and they come in pretty packaged. So it's very festive. Mostly if you work and you guys are having a, like a secret Santa, those are perfect little gifts. I mean, they run $15, $25 and, and they're, you know, they're better than buying, you know, something that they're probably not going to use. So there is a lot of stuff out there right now. A lot of stuff out there that intrigue me and some that I just get put off by because I know they're not good quality. I know that they're not the best quality because they're mass produced for the holidays. And they're, I've never been really interested in them. I've never really purchased them. So I don't see why I should purchase them now, even now when I don't have a job and I don't have a steady income coming in or a large amount of income coming in where I can splurge on makeup. But that's not the only reason because even if I did have a job, like last year I did have a job and a lot of the holiday collection, I didn't even touch. I didn't even turn and looked at them. I didn't buy any of the holiday stuff because it just doesn't appeal to me. So I'm going to start, I am going to give you some of the stuff that I I am planning on not purchasing, but there's some from the some stuff from that collection that I might, you know, dabble a little bit and you know get one thing or another. But um, for the most part, I'm not going to go into the holiday collections. I know there's a lot of new stuff. Like I said, I haven't been able to get. Like I said in my last video, I haven't been able to get my hands on the Urban Decay Basic or ultimate basic palette which I really really want and I haven't been able to get my hands on the the rock pro mega 3 palette I really want that one too see I, I don't I have all the the rock palettes and I love the rock best eyeshadows out there for me that's my opinion but the mega pros I just they haven't called my name until this one. This one is so neutral. It's so uh, basic and I'm anything but basic, but I like basic colors because you can play with them. You can either dress them up or tone them down. That's what I about, like about neutrals. So let's get started with the stuff that I have my notes. So if, I, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes or I'm looking at my phone because I want to show you a picture. Um, I'm going to start with the products that I've seen in Sephora. Um, and then I know there's some products at Ulta that I as well don't. I'm not even going to bother with them. But the Too Faced collection, I mean, they are cute. The packaging is cute. But I'm going to throw it away. I know me. I'm going to get those palettes, put them somewhere for me to, you know, and get all that pretty packaging, all those little ice skating people and I'm just going to throw that away. So to me, see, that's not why it's not worth it because although the packaging is very pretty and I know that there's people out there that, you know, display it, but that crap collects dust and you're not going to keep your makeup in it. 
you're going to put your makeup away. You're going to use that mascara. You're going to use that lip gloss or lipstick that comes in it. And it's not, it's not even going to look pretty. So it's, to me, it's just a waste of package. And, you know, I, I rather just, I rather them use whatever money they're using on that beautiful package. Why don't you use it on your formula? Why don't you invest that money on making the palette look actually really pretty, have really good quality product in it, and forget about the packaging. I know that a lot of people buy stuff because of the packaging, and that's great. But at the end of the day, either you're hoarding all that stuff in your house, or you're throwing it away and messing up the environment. I mean, it's just, that's just the way it is. So I rather just, you invest that money on better quality product and the actual palette itself for it to be sturdy, for it to be good quality. That's just my opinion, but you know, it, it's all about um, packaging and, and, and catching the eye. I get it, but I'd rather have better quality stuff than, than to pay for packaging that I'm going to throw away. So all that Too Faced stuff, the chocolate shop one, the big one, the one that's like 60, 70 bucks, no. I, I do like that Grand Hotel Cafe. That looks very pretty. The colors look very pretty, but a lot of people are saying that I'm like, mm, it's just so, and that the gingerbread one smells like crap. So it's like, and the peppermint one, I would think that the peppermint one, at some point, it's going to go rancid because they're using essential oils to put in those palettes. And, and don't take me wrong, I love scented product. But like the chocolate one, the chocolate sole, the chocolate, you know, bar, and all, I like those. And I really do. I, I have all of them. But I don't know about peppermint. I don't know about gingerbread. I don't know about eggnog. Those scents, I feel like they're going to go rancid. And then I'm not even going to be able to use the product. And I've spent all this money on it. So um, it's a pass for me. All the Tarte collection uh, from the Holiday Collection. Like the pretty pink box. And I do want the blush palette. But then again, I tell myself, why? You have so many blushes out there that look just like the ones that you're gonna get in that color wheel one it's so pretty it's so pretty and i love tart blushes they last forever i mean they swatch really bad but once you apply them they look so pretty i love them but i'm just not going to it's just i feel sometimes like with those collections they have so many products in them like blushes highlights all these eyeshadows and I feel overwhelmed. That's, even that was one of the reasons why I don't want to buy some of this stuff because I feel overwhelmed with how many st stuff come in the package. No. Um, the reason why I'm not going to buy these is because plain and simply, I cannot afford them. The, the in, in, Anything new for Bobby Brown. I don't owe, I don't think I own anything for Bobby Brown besides an eyeshadow stick and this really pretty shimmer um, eyeshadow. I've been wanting to get the uh, color Camel, the eyeshadow col color Camel, which is this yucky caca brown, but it makes a perfect blending color. But like I said, I can't afford it because I mean, the eyeshadow itself is like 30 bucks. 30 bucks for an eyeshadow, it's like, come on, I know you're Bobby Brown, I know that you are a makeup expert I know you are a makeup artist but and I know these are luxury items and there's people out there that can afford them not this mama so she has this new glow shimmer brick palette I don't own any of the brick palettes and I know that it would be a good idea to actually buy the palette as a starter but I just don't I just don't see the point of it. And then she has this palette that's really expensive. That's like 200 bucks. See, it's just, those are things that I wouldn't even ask as a gift because they're just so expensive. I would be embarrassed to ask for a gift that expensive. So it's like, why even bother? Marc Jacobs, 
Um, I don't know anything, Marc Jacobs. I own a, a complimentary lip liner in that prim, prim rose, prim rose, which I love, and I thought of buying it, but it's not until I finish the one that I have. Um, Marc Jacobs is the, he has beautiful stuff. They have beautiful stuff, but. Like I said, these are luxury products that I just can't afford. Even if I had the money, I wouldn't buy them for myself because, I mean, $30 for a lip liner, I can buy myself a couple of blouses. I can buy my daughters a couple of blouses with that kind of money. So I know that I'm ranting and raving, but I'm just talking about the products that I'm just not going to buy. And I'm giving you my reason why I'm not going to buy them. So um, Marc Jacobs has this palette. It's about last night, the 20 eyeshadow palette, and then the object of my desire face. Of I've heard people talk about these palettes, and they say that they're no bueno. So I don't want to spend a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks on a palette that they're just gonna. It's not gonna be good. I I might as well just buy a Morphe palette, which I know they're good, or a Too Faced, you know, regular palette or a Lorac regular palette which I know they're good I already know they're good and no one talks bad about them uh, they do have Marc Jacobs does have a these new blushes the air the air blush glow duos everybody talks about them and everybody says good things about them and I do want one I do want one and it's just about being patient once I get a job I'll buy myself one I'm not against luxury products I'm just there's certain things that I will not buy from those lines because I don't think they're worth it but I really want one of those blushes really do um, at Ulta they have that Tarte Tartius paint palette and a wing worker deluxe the Tartius paint palette it's with that blushes that come like in a little painters palette see those kind of things, like I said, they overwhelm me. They they have too many products in them, and I, I tend not to go for that. And the Wing Workers Deluxe, that's the little package that comes with all these little, like, the liquid eyeliners. I have the black one. I like the black one. I only use black liquid eyeliner. I wouldn't use another color. So, to me, that's just, uh, it would be a waste of money. But they do have the Amazonian clay, the Tardius, it's new. It's the Tardius Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. I do want that. It, it's very pretty. It's, it's the black one, the one that they introduced me while everybody was out somewhere in the Caribbean. Which, uh, Tart, I would have liked to have gone to and put on my bikini. <laughs> I know, Tart doesn't know who I am. Um... And they also have that Mary Macaroons from Too Faced. Yeah, that doesn't really appeal to me in any way or form. Now, MAC and their Nutcracker Sweet Collection. In the first place, they're out of stock in basically everything. Like when they had the Selena Collection, I really wanted a lipstick from there. And out of stock so that that's what I, I, I that pisses me off the most there's so many new things out there like the Kathleen lights um, palette from Morphe it, it was not it just sold out it sold out and that frustrates me that's why I've never bought anything like the Kylie cosmetics because listen why don't you just produce it, all the stuff you're gonna produce and sell and keep on producing instead of selling out. If if you're gonna, if you're going to sell something, sell a lipstick this week, starting today, and you're gonna sell it till it sells out, and then start selling it again next Thursday at the same time for the same price, and it's the same product. Just keep on selling it. And send it out as you're producing it. Sending out, send it out as it's coming out. But don't do that. Oh, it's out of stock. So you guys have to wait till next Thursday at 10:30 in the morning for me to put it up again. It, it's just that's ridiculous. That that just creates 
chaos that creates frustration. So that's why I've never been in her website. I've never even looked at her. I, when I see people reviewing it, I don't even bother. Okay, because it's like, and then when they're saying that it's from a ColourPop uh, manufacturer, I'm like, I'd rather just buy ColourPop because your lipstick is the same color as the lipstick that they have for $15, $20 less. It's just, to me, those are the things that piss me off with the way people are selling things out there. Everything's out of stock. People are buying, you know, a massive amount of that product. Going on eBay or Amazon and selling it for three times more what it's worth, I I don't, that frustrates me, that bothers me, and I'd rather just not buy it. I'd rather not even deal with it. Like, I haven't even... I've taken a look at the Nutcracker Sweet collection from MAC only because I've seen people talk about it and they've shown pictures of, of it on Instagram and then they talk about it on YouTube and they're beautiful things. I mean, they have beautiful stuff. MAC always comes out with beautiful, beautiful um, holiday collection, but I never buy it. Why? Because people buy it and it's out of stock in a couple of days. How long has the Nutcracker Cracker Sweet collection been out for a few days and that gilded honey or gilded the whatever that you know highlighter is with the blush in the bottom it's sold out it's sold out so why the whisper of guilt or whatever it is why even bother it's like some of these people already have that highlighter and they go off and buy it again in that collection. It's like, you already have it. Why don't you let people buy, the people that don't have it, buy it. It's like, you're not gonna run out of the highlighter. You, people, we have so many highlighters, we're never gonna run out of highlighters. Okay, they're, they're gonna go bad before we run out of, before we, we finish the pan. So those are the things that frustrate me. That's the reason why I'm not buying any of the holiday collection. I know I'm ranting. I know I look like a crazy person talking about this, but it's frustrating. It's very, very frustrating because there's so many beautiful stuff out there and we just can't get our hands on it because it's either sold out or too expensive or not even a good product. So I know there's a lot of people out there that are going to be like, this bitch is crazy, you know, but I am. <laughs> so that's the stuff that I'm not buying there is I'm actually wanting to make a video of the stuff that I do want to buy because I do have a, a list of things that I do want to buy I do have you know in my loves the stuff that I love and uh, at the Sephora thing I don't have them in my cart because there's no point but there is some stuff that I want to buy and it's mostly skincare because I'm, I'm kind of running out of stuff already like I'm freaking out because my philosophy um, face um, cleanser, I'm like three quarters into it. So I need to go buy it. And I want to buy the one that comes with the little cream because I like the cream. And it's the same price if, I, if it doesn't come with the cream. So might as well get the free cream. And I also need to buy myself a moisturizer. And I like Clinique. So I'm going to, they have this little set for $15. And I really don't put a lot of cream because uh, moisturizer because I only put moisturizer what's all of this right here. Sometimes my neck too. But what's my T-zone, I kind of steer clear of putting cream there because I'm an oily mess. I have a combination skin and, and my cheeks, I mean, I am getting older. Uh, my cheeks are, are dry. Not dry, but they're normal to dry and then my t-zone is common like sometimes it's oily sometimes it's not so i i don't use a lot of moisturizer so i don't need to buy the big because then they'll last long they last too long and they go bad and i as soon as they start smelling funky i throw them away so i buy the little ones um so in that i think it's 18 dollars or 15 dollars it comes with a moisture surge cream and a moisture surge overnight mask and it comes with a a I think one of the lip crayons in strawberry which I've never had that one and it's pretty it's pink 
So uh, I think I'm going to get that and I'm going to get um, the Philosophy Facial Cleanser. And, uh, and then I'm just going to use my VIB. Uh, I think it's 20% off or something like that. And there's something I do want to get from Sephora. And it was the Gimme Lips. I think it was the pink one. But it seems like they're out of stock. And they have that Gimme Bold Lips. Uh, I'm not going to wear that purple shade. So there's no point of buying it. Um, and they also have one with uh, all the stuff for the eyes. I think I want that one. Because it comes with Huda Lashes. And I've always wanted to. I'm so sorry. A big old truck passed by. And I was like, whoa. Um... It has the Huda lashes, which I've never used before, and it comes with the little NARS um, dual intensity um, eyeshadow, and it comes with a mascara. It comes with a whole bunch of stuff that I was like, oh, you know, I, I want to try all that stuff, but it's $42. So I think I'm going to use my, my VIB special thing, and I'm going to buy that stuff for myself. I'm going to buy it for my birthday. So, um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, but all that stuff, no, so... I hope you like my unhaul video. I know it's kind of long. I'm going past on 20 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around for the whole 20 minutes of me ranting and raving how I cannot afford to buy any of the new stuff. Um, I will see you next video. Please, please, please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye.